we found water somewhat closer to the equator than we were expecting to see it. And what that tells us is that water is um, not stable with the conditions on Mars now, with, its, with the amount of water in the atmosphere, with the climate on Mars today. So it's telling us that that water is um, kind of a, a remnant of a past uh, climatic period on Mars when uh, it was a little bit colder, ice was stable a little bit closer to the equator, and there was a lot more uh, water vapor in the atmosphere. So we're, we're seeing a window into Mars's past history by locating the ice at this depth. So Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has um, made a fortuitous discovery of five craters, very small craters from about jacuzzi to about swimming pool size. And we've seen hundreds of these kinds of craters, but we found five very special ones in that they had uh, fresh ice in the bottom of them. I think one of the things that's really interesting about this is that it gives us a new window into the water story on Mars. You know, the whole Mars program has been following the water. And this is our, our first um, insight into how water and climate have changed on Mars over the last 10 to 100,000 years. We saw something very unusual when we followed up on the first of these uh, impact craters, and that was this bright blue material uh, that was poking out from the bottom of these craters, and it looked a lot like water ice. So we started monitoring uh, this, uh, this material, and sure enough, it faded away like you would expect water ice to fade away. Uh, it sublimates into the atmosphere um, since it's unstable at the surface. And also, uh, a third instrument on Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, the hyperspectral imager called CRISM, uh, was able to get a spectrum of one of these uh, deposits, uh, one of these new uh, water ice exposures. And uh, the spectra that that instrument got proved that it was water ice, as, as we were expecting. The Viking lander landed in a place where, based on models and uh, the results from these craters, we expect the ice table depth to be maybe about 25 centimeters below the surface, so maybe about, uh, about this much uh, below the surface. And uh, Viking had a robotic arm, and it did dig down, but it only dug down about this much below the surface. So uh, we think now that if Viking Lander uh, 2 had dug slightly deeper, it would have discovered this ice about 30 years ago.